Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius, and this is the breakdown of today's live stream of uh, Owen Benjamin. Hey, I have a big one for you guys today. Good morning. I want to address his uh, demeanor, his continence on his face. The continence of the heart is upon the face. So whatever his heart is feeling, you can see it on his face. Not all the time is that accurate because people do put masks on and whatnot, but I think it's important to note what would you th- what what's your gut reaction as to how he feels right now, what he's going through. Good morning, everyone. Hello, upstate mama bear, sleepy house, telecaster bear, fix anything bear. Toddsworth is here, wheels up, Burns clan bear, three thought bear. Okay. Today- so he wanted to name, he wanted to list at least a few people that are there. He named maybe seven people. I'm going to discuss the new film uh, starring Jesus, the guy who played Jesus, Jim Carvizzle. It's called, uh, produced by Tim Ballard. It's called The Sound of Freedom. Do you hear it, guys? It's The Sound of Freedom. And it coincided, just watching all these uh, conservatives slop it up and lap it up, like some form of absolve. Absol- he has a hatred in his heart for Christianity, for Christians, for anything that is holy, that is, that, and it's ironic because he says, good, true, and the beautiful. There's nothing that he actually stands for that is good, that is true, or that is beautiful. He preaches the gospel of Owen Benjamin cares, Owen Benjamin cares Troy Smith. Owen Benjamin Smith, Owen Benjamin. That's the gospel that he preaches. And so anything that contradicts him is evil, is hypocritical, is not good. Absolution, absolution, I don't know the proper word. It absolves them of their sins. If they just watch this movie, they are fighting human sex trafficking. And we're going to discuss it today, like the nature of the movie, my experience with um, child abuse, uh, being from Oswego, New York. And uh, I don't think a lot of people realize the town I'm from and what my perspective is. Taylor Bear. Oh, Taylor Bear just did measurements for my suit. Let me tell you guys a little bit about Oswego, New York. It's very strange for anybody to have a common goal, you would think, and see somebody doing something to either bring light to it or fight it. And then there's hostility because of it. There's a story in the Bible where the, the the apostles come to Jesus and they're like, hey, they say, hey, that person's over there saying that he's he, he's a view and and uh, he's healing people in your name. Like we should go over there and stop him. And Jesus says something along the lines of why is he preaching my name? Is he preaching my gospel? Is he preaching the truth? And they say, well, yeah, but he's he's saying that he's of us. Well, Jesus is still being preached. So that's, I mean, why? why? We've got other things that we've got more important things to talk about rather than somebody that we don't know preaching what's true, what we're doing. Now, I might have butchered that, but that's kind of the gist of it. I'm not exaggerating at all when I talk about my upbringing. Nine priests on diocese blacklist. Francis J. Fafaro, who lived in a rectory, rectum, one block from my house until he was dead. And he was actively molesting my next door neighbors who were twins. Okay. Why did, why would you just throw in the word rectum like that? Because you're Owen Benjamin and that's what you do. So just understand where I'm coming from. I'm immune to all the, oh, you, you're just attacking the church because because you hate God and Jesus warned us that, that they hate us because of God. No, no, no. I watched this my whole life. All right. The Catholic di- Convolute, even his own IRA argument doesn't make any sense. Diocese of Syracuse on Monday released a list of 57 priests accused of sexual misconduct against children, including nine former. My town has 12,000 total people in it. Nine Catholic churches, they were all pedophiles. Not just pedophiles, uh, Father Fafaro was also the superintendent of the school district. So when people go, don't you know, the public school is just as bad. No, it's definitely not. The Catholic Church 
uh, I came to realize is basically a giant pedophile. It's like Walmart for pedophiles. Like if you're a pedophile and you want to have unfettered access to children, it's the Catholic Church. Public schools, you, you'll you see these graphs and you'll see all this shit where they're like, don't you know? Uh, public schools are molested. Not even fucking close. Maybe it's just my town. Maybe I'm from. There's some there's definitely some truth to what he's saying. If you look up how much how many how much money the Catholic Church has actually paid to its victims, as in hush money, it's in the billions. And that's true. Uh, the, the most uniquest town in the world. But if that's the case, you have to understand where I'm coming from. All right. My town, my friends were literally getting molested by all the priests. And I figured out the pattern to predatory behavior. And I was a truther back then, just like I am now. I never back down. As a child, that's what he's saying. As a child, he was a truther then as he is now. From predators, ever. I despise them. That's ironic because he is, in fact, a predator. He is. There's multiple video uh, segments proving him teaching predatorial behavior without a shadow of a doubt. And so him being on the defensive the way he is, kind of strange. My mother didn't back down to these people. She was called a witch. You know, uh, what they do is they slander you. They say that you're uh, evil and demonic and all this. Meanwhile, the guy one block from my house had a live in quote unquote boyfriend that was 18 that he'd been having sex with since he was nine. And all these mothers, these Catholic brainwashed freaks are like, he's a man of God. You're just trying to attack God. Don't you know? He, he's, he's a great man. Yes, he has, some, he has some faults. He has some sin. But don't we? Isn't it funny how the, the voice that he's doing right now sounds exactly like the current bears? And some of the past bears that realize the error of their ways and has since apologized and whatnot sounds exact. He's a man of God type of thing. And yeah, he's got some flaws, but... Oh, don't we all? Unreal. Okay. The Catholic Diocese of Syracuse on Monday released a list of 57 priests accused of sexual misconduct against children, including nine former Oswego County clergy. Okay. This is 10 years after he's dead. No one. Back then, we, me and my mom were talking about it, and they said my mom's a witch and I was a troubled child. But here's the thing is, the thing is, is we had an intact family and we believed each other. This is the way through. I'm going to give you guys real actionable advice about how to end how far i go back listening to him 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 and his dad and his mom had were on live streams all three of them together back whenever i watched this guy that's how far back i used to watch him i didn't watch him for the longest time but i remember the first time his dad and his mom made an appearance i'll abuse permanently it's not not for the first time ever, but the first time that I saw them make an appearance. Not watching a movie made by a bunch of Catholics, okay? As we go priests, implicit incredible allegations of child sexual abuse by the Diocese of Syracuse are Daniel W. Casey, Father Dan, Cold Hands Quigley himself, uh, Francis Franny Favaro. He lived until his 80s, saw no jail time, and was worshipped by my town. Hundreds of victims. He loved twin boys. Couldn't get enough. John F. Harold, James C. Hayes, William. And this isn't the first time. If this is a true news article and all of these are things that you could look up and verify, it sounds very similar to a man named Jimmy Seville. If you don't know who that is and you're uh, interested in the actual true aspect of uh, what is possible in the world of human trafficking whenever it comes to PDF behavior, 400 plus victims over the course of, I think, 60 years or so, and nothing was done at all until he died. And there was a, uh, the, 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 the research that went into the, the whole scenario around him was called Project U-Tree. I think it's Y-E-W-T-R-E-E. -E. You'll, maybe Yule Tree, but I think it's U Tree. You, it might be Yule Tree. Y E W L. Anyway, that shows you what could possibly uh, be going down. And it, yeah, there's so many things. Hey, Lorenz. Ooh, Father Lorenz. I remember him. I'm pretty sure, uh, I, I don't want to get into it. Chester, Chester the Molester. We always called him Chester the Molester. Chester, Mr. Cola. 
literally openly called him Chester the Molester, Father Dan with his cold hands. This is known. Nobody did a goddamn thing about it. Not only did everyone know, they were moved around whenever they'd have to, like, pay out money to one of these little prudes, these tattletale kids. That most of them are dead now from opioids. Nobody's... So, so Tim Ballard, you might want to come back from the jungles of Columbia and deal with the actual pedophile problem in America. And how do these people figure out who to attack? My town is, like, ground fucking... And people want to mock my dad. Like, this fucking... Catholic little scumbag on Twitter is like, come back to the only church. You've turned. You're a Jew. <laughs> and then he starts, and I go, were you licking on a lollipop when you t- when you tweeted that? And he's like, yeah, you have a gay dad. My dad was molested by a priest and ended up a fruitcake. Yes. Me and him have a decent relationship. I'm actually going to go visit him in October. We're re- repairing our relationship. On that note, I am going to sign off on this one. I will have uh, part two, part three, seeing how far it will go until I don't feel as though I can put uh, this particular episode on YouTube. Anyways, this is the Texas Goat Radio Show. I am your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.